Hey guys, what's up? My name is Erica Andrea. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. Welcome. Today we're going to be talking about this wig that I have installed. I'm going to be telling you guys all about the hair. I'm going to show you how I installed it. So let's just get right on into it. Now, first things first. Everybody has been asking me about this hair, literally at work, when I go out in public, on Instagram when I post, people ask me about this hair. This wig, one of the best that I've had in a long, long time. Let's get into the specs so you guys know where you can find it. So this wig is from West Kiss Hair, and I'll have everything linked down below so you guys can find it. This is the 5x5 HD Lace, 180% density, 20 inches curly wig. Now, there's no label on it as far as whether it's a deep wave, a jerry curly. It just says curly, and I'll have a picture of what it looks like on the screen and the exact link to this wig down below so that you guys don't get confused because they do have have multiple curly wigs on their website and for this wig I paid three hundred and five dollars and twelve cents it came with a robe it came with a wig band it came with eyelashes it was packaged really beautifully in a little satin bag and 10 out of 10 the packaging was beautiful I went to my stylist and had her bleach the knots and pluck the hairline so just an FYI the wig does require a little bit of tweezing and some bleaching but that's literally all I did to this wig so now let's go ahead and show you guys how I install it so this is the wig I have been installing it and reinstalling it for a couple weeks now so I feel like this is the perfect time for me to come and show you guys how the wig has been doing this is what the 5x5 five five looks like. It has two combs here, a comb in the back, and the adjustable straps. I have not put a elastic band on this because I find that I haven't really needed it because I've been gluing the lace down. But if you're going to wear this glueless, I would definitely recommend putting the elastic band on that came with it. I find the bald cap method to be very pointless. Like, it comes out nice when you get it done in the salon. But, like, for the everyday wear at home, I really don't find it necessary to do that so I just go ahead and put it on and stick it in the back and this is what it looks like I'm just gonna show you guys how I refresh it and kind of make it good to go this is my little spray bottle I'll have one linked down below for you guys to buy if you don't have one but this just really helps when you're styling curly hair because you can get a nice fine mist without like making your hair soaking soaking wet so I just spray this all over the hair this hairline is already plucked by my stylist if you're in the New York Long Island area I'll tag my stylist for you so I just kind of wet the front of the hair and we're just gonna put these baby hairs down a little bit we're going to put the baby hairs down a little bit. This is the Eben Ebene New York Lace Spray. It's their Wonder Lace Bond Adhesive Spray in the Extra Firm Hold. Sensitive, just so that it doesn't irritate my skin. Because some glues can be really irritating. And I lift the front of the wig up. Because you don't want this to get on the hair. And I just spray it directly onto the lace. And, oh, I also use the same brand. This is the Abin. Abin. This is their Tinted Lace Spray. I use this as well, and I had sprayed this on the wig before I installed it, if I didn't mention that already. I use the light warm brown shade, so if you're similar to my skin tone, I feel like it matches perfectly. Then I take this little wig band, and we're going to tie down the edges. Uh, hold on. Some of the hair back for a second. And we're going to secure the wig down with this. And this is going to hold your lace in place while you're refreshing the curls. Okay. So now you can go crazy. I'm just going to keep wetting the hair. I wore this wig for a 12-hour shift. And I took it off. And this is what it looks like. So this is what a detangling session will look like with this hair. I'm about to show y'all. I'm going to use this little paddle brush. I start at the ends. And as you guys can see, the tangles break up so easily. The hair is like butter. I really thought it was too good to be true. 
but look at this guys like I haven't put any product in the hair and it's gliding through so easy you do not need to put any product in this hair if you don't want to to hold the curl I just like a more like put together look and I don't like my curls to get too frizzy so I do put some products in it and I'll show y'all in a second what I like to use but look how quickly the hair detangled and it's still so full from root to tip with the fingers and look at that no sh there's like one strand of hair and this is curly hair like this is the best curly wig that I have had ever and I'm gonna swear by that because look how good it looks so next I'm gonna take the Moroccan curl imperfection defining cream this smells really good and it just gives the curls a nice little juicy appearance I do this more for the smell than anything else and also just to kind of keep the curls in place but like I mentioned, this hair does not need product. I just like my hair to smell good, so I do tend to put at least a little bit of product. And I just scrunch it in, and the curls look really beautiful. Then from the same line, I'm taking the Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco, and this is like a fine oil mist. I really, really love this product. And I just spray it through the hair to give it a little extra shine. That way when it dries, it doesn't look dry. So yeah, this is what it looks like when you fully define the curls and brush the hair out and put some product in it. And this is just what it looks like when you just have it out nice and big and fluffy. So I'm going to go ahead and style this side and we'll come back. As you guys can see, the back is detangling really, really well. Like look at the back of this hair. The defining cream. And I don't use a lot of this. I just use it to scrunch into the hair like that. Flatten it out on the top little bit of oil again I don't like my hair to look dry like I want it to look just as juicy as it looks right now I let the hair kind of air dry a little bit it's still a bit damp but I'm too excited to show you guys what the finished product is gonna look like so I'm gonna take off the little wig band and you don't need to keep this on for very long I find that if you keep it on for too long you get like these lines on your forehead that's the extent to which I'll keep it on, especially if you have makeup on. Girl, don't be leaving these bands on for too long because these little lines on the inside, they're going to be on your forehead and you're going to be mad. I like to use this Motions Mousse. I do not use edge control on my wigs. I find that it's too thick. It's too heavy. It just looks very like pasted to your forehead and that's not the vibe that I'm ever really going for. So yeah, I like to use mousse but use whatever you like and honestly when you spray the lace down the baby hairs get pretty hard like as you guys can see my baby hairs are a little looking a little rough right now so I'm going to use the mousse to loosen them back up. So I put the mousse on the brush and I just use it to kind of soften up this section here and I just lay the hair down and push it back into the hairline. Do the same thing on the other side. I use it to push back that hair and then just kind of rough up the baby hairs we do have and I literally just swoop them like that place like I want my middle part to stay this sleek I put some mousse on my fingers and I just put it right in the hairline and that's just gonna keep the hair on the top looking really really nice I don't tend to put mousse all throughout the hair if you want a really like defined structured curl look I'll insert a picture right here I did that for a concert because I didn't want my hair to get all frizzy you can do that but I tend to only take a little bit of mousse and scrunch it on the ends so that we keep these really pretty ringlets. But other than that, I don't put too much mousse in the hair. And I do the same thing on both sides. And that's that. That's literally all I do to style this hair. As you guys can see, it was super quick. It was super easy. This wig, it looks so natural. Like, there's no filter on this. I don't know if the lighting is going to look different when I go back and edit this and I'm going to be mad. <laughs> But it looks so good. I'll insert some pictures. I've been wearing this wig for weeks now and I have not worn any other hair because it's so, so good. I slept in this hair. I've done everything. I've gone days without brushing it out and it does not get 
super tangled and if you've bought curly hair you know that sometimes the curly hair starts getting all matted and tangled especially at the nape of your neck but this hair has been treating me so so good it really looks just as good as it is in real life i swear i swear i swear i was not sent this hair for review at all i spent my own money on it but west kiss <laughs> If you want to send me some more wigs to try out, go ahead and send them over because, listen, do you see the hair? Give this video a big thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. I just wanted to quickly come and tell you guys about this wig and show you how I installed it. Leave me a comment down below if you like this hair. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And turn on those post notifications so that you never miss an upload. And I will see all of you beautiful people in my next one. Bye.